tracking coronavirus tonight, contact tracing isn't a new pro process in public health. The process is in the spotlight, though, as a key part in limiting the spread of the coronavirus. Six on Your Side reporter Kellyanne Stitz spoke with the Director of Health Preparedness and Response with Oak Ridge's Associated Universities about the process's new importance in this pandemic. Freddie Gray, a Director of Health Preparedness and Response with ORAU, defines contact tracing as the ability to try and track down people who have potentially been exposed to an infectious disease, in this case, COVID-19. Public Health Department gets notified, whether it's COVID or something else, the, the gears are in motion. Then they contact, interview basically that person, look at who's potentially they've been exposed. You know, you're looking at people that are close contacts, Maybe they've been around this person within a six foot uh, space and things, time wise, you know, how long you've been around the person. And so they start monitoring those kinds of, of exposure rates. And when it comes to contact tracing in COVID-19, one of the biggest challenges is in certain cases, people may not show signs or symptoms of the virus. And so I think that's what makes some of this so challenging is because I can't differentiate between a person who is infected and not infected because sometimes the signs and the symptoms aren't aren't visible. Another challenge is testing. About the only way that you could tell is to be tested. There's a lot of challenges with testing and so sometimes it takes a little bit of time to get the results back and so as a result you know we've tried to institute quarantine you know stay isolated for 14 days you know so that if you are exposed and potentially infected then, you know, you're not going to be exposing other people. The size of the pandemic and how quickly the disease can spread poses other obstacles. The fact of what do you do when you may have, you know, 2,500 contact tracers in the whole country. Now you're looking at any numbers from 100,000 to 300,000 just to handle COVID-19. The process of contact tracing is key to learning more about the disease and help limit the spread. And so you keep them kind of contained so that you can monitor them. So you're less likely to expose the whole public, therefore the second wave, therefore not able to have a control of this thing because until there's a vaccine or some kind of medical countermeasures, I mean, we're left to being responsible to our own people. Reporting in Knoxville, Kelly Stitz, WATE 6 on your side. ORAU's Freddie Gray says a great way for people to help limit the spread until there is a vaccine is to continue wearing a face covering, stay six feet apart, wash hands frequently, and ultimately take individual responsibility to keep our greater community safe.